To understand electricity, you first have to understand atoms. They're the basic building blocks for everything that exists in the universe. All matter is made from a combination of atoms. Matter is any substance that has mass and occupies space. Matter can exist in three forms, solid, liquid, or gas. Atoms are composed of three primary particles, the proton, the neutron, and the electron. Protons have a positive charge, neutrons have no charge, and electrons have a negative charge. The proton and neutron form the nucleus or center of the atom, and the electron orbits around the nucleus. If you want to understand atoms, you need to start with two fundamental laws or principles. One is the law of charges, which simply states that unlike charges attract and like charges repel. Since the proton has a positive charge and the electron has a negative charge, they are attracted to each other. In theory, all the electrons would fall into the nucleus of the atom because of its net positive charge, except for the second law concerning atoms. The second fundamental law or principle that applies to atoms is centrifugal force, which is what causes a spinning object to pull away from its center or axis point. Electrons do not fall into the positively charged center of the atom because they are spinning around it. Centrifugal force prevents the electrons from falling into the nucleus of the atom. So there's a balance between the law of charges pulling the electron toward the proton and the centrifugal force pulling the electron away from the proton. Although atoms may contain multiple orbits or shells, it is the electrons located in the outermost orbit that are important in the study of electricity. This outermost orbit of an atom is known as the valence orbit. Any electrons located in this outermost shell are called valence electrons. The maximum number of electrons that can be located in the valence shell is eight, regardless of how many shells or orbits the atom may contain. Valence electrons are more important to the study of electricity because they are the most loosely held by an atom and can be given up to produce current flow. If another electron should strike the orbiting valence electron, the energy of the striking electron is given to the orbiting electron. The orbiting electron moves off to strike another electron and the striking electron settles into orbit around the nucleus of the atom.